What's up guys? So, I recognize that I haven't made a video in a long time uh, and I wanted to update you on uh, um, what's been going on with my bike which is obviously I got the uh, bike side harness from FTECU. There were some things that, don't get me wrong, everything about the bike I love. Um, but there were some things that if I could adjust, I would. And with the, uh, the flash, the bike side harness kit, uh, I'm able to do that. Instead of sending my ECU out, having somebody else do it, um, I'm one of those guys that likes to tinker a little bit. And so uh, I flashed my uh, ECU. And I did it for a couple of reasons. One, as everybody knows, R1s run pretty hot. So I wanted to be able to adjust my uh, fan temp so it would come on a little bit earlier. So I set it up to come on at 2.05. Uh, and also the R1 straight from the factory has uh, some pretty substantial engine braking. Um, and I wanted to get rid of that. It also has a pretty twitchy throttle. Uh, which you can smooth out if you get in there and you really adjust some of the maps and that's what that's why I wanted to do was to be able to go in and look at all of the maps and to be able to specifically adjust some things now I belong to the R1 uh, forum and there's a guy on there or there's a lot of guys on there that have done some uh, substantial work on the mapping for the 2009 R1 um, uh, one of the specific guys names is Tad and he has created uh, a whole set of maps um, that are specific for his particular bike and I've incorporated the majority of his settings into what I've done for my uh, ECU flash except he there are some things that he was a little bit uh, um, aggressive on and I you know I'm not I don't necessarily go to the go to the track all the time so um, I made some adjustments kind of the, the standard mode is kind of in between uh, the base unrestricted standard mode that comes from Flashtune and kind of what he did. So I kind of take took a little bit of uh, the best characters of that. And so I'm going to start this thing up. Uh, I'm going to go for a little ride. So stick around. So what's up, guys? I'm, uh, I'm out on the road now. And... I'm not going to hoop and holler and scream about how much more power it's got, yada, yada, yada. There's plenty of videos that are, that are out there that, that do that. Um, I didn't really get the ECU flash to have more power. Um, the, there was a couple things specifically that, that I, I really was interested in, in having the ECU flash for and the adjustability of, of the flash. Sorry if it's if it's difficult to hear me. It's super windy out here right now, and I'm not a big fan of riding in the wind. Um, but uh, one thing is, at about 5,000 RPM, the bike has like a little lull, like a little dead spot. Um, that dead spot's gone now, which uh, is fabulous. Uh, also. Uh, the engine braking is reduced, not dramatically, uh, but it's certainly redu reduced. Um, I may get in there and, and try and adjust a little bit more uh, uh, to see how, you know, if I can get it, the engine braking to adjust. But I will tell you this, the throttle on and off is so much smoother now. And for guys, for, for guys that have R1s, uh, especially my year, but, but but from what I understand, just being on the message boards and, and uh, you know, l listening to people talk about even the newer R1s, they still have a really touchy throttle. And so that for me right now is gone um, or not necessarily completely gone, but it's certainly a lot smoother, which is exciting for me. Uh, that's it. That's an that's really a nice a nice thing uh, the, the smoothness of the throttle you know if, if you've watched any of my videos I've, I've mentioned that I've ridden my brother's TLR I swear to God my girlfriend been rode by somebody uh, Suzuki uh, TL 1000 R and it's a thousand cc uh, but it is silky smooth I mean silky silky smooth on and off the throttle uh, unfortunately he dropped somehow for some reason uh, he lost third gear on it so 
you know, it's kind of been heartbreaking because, you know, that was my riding guy. Um, him and I, uh, now that he's up in Northern California, we're going to do a lot of riding, and that's still going to happen. It's just been pushed out. Uh, but the throttle on and off on that bike is ridiculously smooth. Um, and, and, God, this bike feels a lot better now. And, again, you're, like I said, you're not going to hear me hip hop array and see me doing 150 miles an hour because that's really not how I ride. Um, I was really, really interested in getting a, having a little bit smoother of an experience um, while riding my R1. I absolutely love the R1 uh, and everything about it. And to, to have a little bit smoother throttle uh, is really exciting for me. So far, so good. You know, I flashed the ECU. I, I, I did a lot of a lot of uh, research on did I want to send my ECU out or did I want to do it myself and because I'm a tinkerer and man that feels so much better wow because I'm a tinkerer you know and and you know I like fooling around with computers I decided to go to go for the actual harness so that um, when and if I made adjustments um, to the bike with regards to you know any type of modifications if and when I wanted to get you know a quick shifter or stuff like that I wanted to be able to uh, you know adjust it I got the bike side harness from Graves it was a, a flash tune bike side harness and ever since then, I've been fooling around with the maps. And I've, I have reflashed my bike, I think three times. And every time I flash it, every time I reflash the ECU, this bike just runs better and better. Now granted, I'm not dyno tuning it. All I'm doing and I don't even know if I'm doing it right or wrong, but all I'm doing is looking at the maps and looking at the inconsistencies in the fuel cells or in the cells for the RPM in relationship to the uh, throttle position and sensor for each cylinder. And I go through that and I look at it and I say, okay, well, you know, there's a big gap here, there's a big jump, like. 60% throttle to 52% throttle. It doesn't make any sense to me that from one cell to another there would be an 8% uh, decrease or increase. So I go through and I adjust each one of those so that it's smoother. And maybe it's just me, but I'll tell you what, it seems like it's making a big difference. A big difference. If you have any questions, um, put it down with, down there in the uh, bottom of the YouTube video, and I'll try and answer any and all of them that I can. Uh, anyway, uh, have a fa fabulous day, and uh, stick around uh, here in the next couple weeks or so. I'm I'm gonna uh, go into detail about why uh, I haven't been making any videos. Um, you might be interested, you might be not. Uh, I. I didn't necessarily think that I was going to go ahead and talk about it, but I decided that I'm going to just in case people end up going through what I've been going through. Um, so anyway, have a blessed day and uh, I'll talk to you soon.